Good day, learners. Welcome to our science class. This is Mom Lin, your science teacher. Our lesson for today is about force, particularly the effects of force when applied to an object. And for our objective, identify and describe the effects of force on the size, shape, and movement of an object. This topic is composed of three lessons. Lesson 1, Effects of Force on the Shape of an Object. Lesson 2, Effects of Force on the Size of an Object. And Lesson 3, Effects of Force on the Movement of an Object. Now, let us start with Lesson 1. Effects of force on the shape of an object. To start with, let us understand or define first what is a force. When we say force, it is either a push or pull of an object. Magnets, gravity, and friction can also cause the things to move. Force can also change the shape size, and movement of an object. Other terms to keep in mind when we talk about force is Newton and friction. When we say Newton, it is the international unit used to measure force. Friction, meaning to resist motion or to stop motion. Now, let's take a closer look to these illustrations. Do you think force was applied on the different activities as shown in the picture? Let us have the examples of push force. One example of push force is feet pushing while walking. When we walk, our feet is pushing the ground. Another, a player pushing the ball in a football game. In playing a football game, the player needs to push the ball to goal. Closing a drawer. In closing a drawer, you need to push it. Another example is typing on a keyboard. Now, let us have the examples of pull force. One example of pull force is magnet pulling the metal shavings toward itself. If you have noticed, the metal shaving is pulled by a magnet toward itself. Another is that when you pull up a plant or a weeds, you are applying pull force. Picking up of a glass of water, an example of a pull force. A dog pulling on its leash, another example of pull force. Blocking the string of a guitar. And the last one is pulling back the string of a bow to fire an arrow. So those are the examples of pull force. Now let us have a simple activity. All you have to do is identify the kind of force that is exerted as shown in the picture. So you are going to identify if it is a push force or pull force. Let us start. The answer is 
push. Another one. The answer is push. How about this one? The answer is pull. How about this one? The answer is pull. And the last one? The answer is pull. Okay, good job. For the summary, force can change the shape and size of an object. A force is a push or a pull that can cause the object to move or stop or even change the speed or direction. Now let us discuss the ways of changing the shape of an object. Can you identify the activities as shown on the screen? One way of changing the shape of an object is by compressing. Take a look at what happened to the shape of a can when it is compressed. The shape of a can is changed. Another is when we squeeze a lemon, the shape of the lemon is changed. Same thing when you pull this wire, the shape is changed. From short, it becomes long. Twisting. Twisting changes the shape of an object. By bending, the fork and spoon change its shape. Pressing the clothes. Stretching a rubber band. Tearing a piece of paper from a square or rectangular into a regular shape. To sum up, a force is a push or pull which occurs when two or more objects interact with each other. The shape of an object may change when force is applied to it. By pushing, pulling, pounding, compressing, bending, twisting, tearing, stretching, or squeezing are some ways of changing the shape of an object. Now, let's discuss the lesson 2, effects of force on the size of an object. Can you name different activities wherein shape of an object is changed by applying force? Let's proceed. Take note that when force is applied to an object, the size of an object changes. Some materials are of different sizes. Some are big, others are small. Some are long, others are short. When force is applied to it, some objects become bigger, smaller, longer, or shorter. Some situations where force is applied and changed are the following. Example, dropping a vase. When you accidentally drop a vase, it is broken into small pieces. Biting an apple. Cutting a cardboard from a whole piece into small pieces. 
hammering a nail. From long to short. Let us move to lesson three. Effects of force on the movement of an object. You should understand also that force can speed up or even slow down an object. It depends on the amount of force applied to it. Force can also change the direction in which an object is moving. Pushing is an act of exerting force on someone or something in order to move away from oneself. So when you push an object, you are moving it away from yourself. How motion and position of objects can be changed? Let us have a simple activity. The push and go. All you have to do is push the toy car with varying strength of forces. Then, compare the distance traveled by the toy car. What have you found out? The stronger the force exerted, the farther the toy car travels. The toy car traveled farther when the force applied was stronger. It traveled nearer when a lesser force was applied. Shorter distance is traveled when the force is weak. And the longer the distance is traveled when the force is strong. Now let us have the pulling. Pulling to exert force on someone or something so as to cause the movement toward oneself. So when we say pulling, you are moving toward yourself. Now let us try another activity, the activity number two, entitled Hang and Pull. For our materials, we will be needing spring balance and three padlocks. At first, you are going to hang one padlock to the spring balance. Then, observe the spring balance when you hang a padlock. What happened to the spring balance? Of course, the spring balance was pulled down when a padlock was hung to it. Now, add another one padlock without removing the first padlock. What was the effect on the spring balance as you added more padlocks? The answer is, the spring is pulled lower as more padlocks were hanged to it. Now, what will happen if you keep on adding more padlocks to the spring balance? Of course, the answer is the more padlocks you hang, the lower the spring will be pulled down. That's all for today's lesson. God bless and keep safe always.